I posted a poll on YouTube asking which 2K had the best storyline and a majority of y'all said 2K16. So today I'll be attempting to beat the entire NBA 2K16 my career story in one video. But before we get into that, my analytics said that 80% of y'all aren't subscribed. Subscribe. Like the video as well. Let's try to get a thousand likes and let's get straight into it. Suzanne! Oh, fuck! Step into my world where you can be the story. See what it's like to be the next NBA phenom, the next Frequency Vibrations, Freak. a.k.a. Freak. Freak time traveled this to this era from the 70s, the that's why he looks like that. It's a lot of background lore that y'all gonna find out about it, I'm don't even worry about it yet. Wow, you about to wake up the whole project. Ah, oh, man, whatever, this awkward. <laughs> so what's up, bro? How you feeling? Oh. I'm living a dream. Oh my gosh, that jumper was horrible. Ugh, shoot that thing. He shoots it with one hand. Yep, just like our parents. 32 years and they both still at the post office. <laughs> mom selling stamps, pops delivering the mail. Never complain, never miss a day. Yeah, well, moms did when she had us. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Buckets. Brought us up right here in Harlem, USA. In the projects. When I make it to the league, we'll have enough money to retire both of them. Come on, Sit freak. Back. You know that these colleges is giving you money under the table. Boom! <laughs> CC? <laughs> this guy. Yo! I still got the skills, though! Never. Coach is a hater. He only wanted one player to shine, but it's all good, though. My man Freak is extra nice with it. We both go into the league. Get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? Yo, Vic, you are no good on the curb bum. Let's just keep it 100. Two 1v1? Times. It's time for us to get to school. We can't be late. Vic, you joining us? Nah, I'm going to catch y'all at the cafeteria for lunch. Son, that's at 12. That was me in high school. I'm going to take a little nap, you know, so I'm well rested <laughs> for them afternoon classes. Vic. Why didn't you just go to bed? Uh, Because right. I can't sleep at night. My doctor said that my biological clock is all turned around. <laughs> you know, like up is down, down is up. Left is right, right is left. Wait, how do I... You know what? It's all good in the hood. You two know I'm dyslexic. It's dyslexic. Yo, you what? twisted for show. Whatever. You know what's for lunch? Ah, Monday's mystery meat. Hate, Hate it. it. You know what? If you use your imagination, it tastes just like your mom's prime rib. Tasty. Tasty. Oh, what is this Disney know. Nickelodeon acting? Be safe, fam. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Give me some. Right. Wow. Oh, CC, you ain't right. Every but that's all right. And why is that? Because you keep forgetting. I'm an FOF, a friend of freak. Bro, is dick riding all you do? That's crazy yeah, levels right. of glazing. Oh, that's wild. Bad because you ain't come up with it. Let me oh, go get the bag. I had a friend in high school that got kicked out because he missed so many days. I don't know how his parents let him get away with it. That man had the good life. This man is in high school with his own penthouse. Hey! <laughs> Senior year, first game, Parkside High School Dragons versus Midtown High School Bulldogs. Game one of three. Whose grandpa is that? That man is not no high school player. Oh, yeah. Let me get right with the 2K16. Dribble moves, Oops, side, Ooh. bang. Come on, bro, get up, little boy. Double team all that. Mm, they're not even making the obvious pass. That's how you know they're young and dumb high schoolers. 2K made the worst CPUs of all time this game. Okay, and they just got a bucket on me. Wait, 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 wait. Because I remember the name Don Pagnotti. We're going up against our manager's son. I'm spoiling. My bad. I'm not supposed to say that yet. Got that. Mm, mm. Don't get under that rim. Don't get under that. Don't. Bro. Where's the dunk? Alley oop, I see you, my boy. That was big, sir. I need some type of dunk, man. Hey, ooh, cutting down the middle. Ah, ah, through the contact. Where's the parents at? Wait, wait, wait. Did I miss something where the parents said that they couldn't show up to the game? At halftime, ice ray with six points, four rebounds, one block, one steal, going crazy. I need a dunk out of you, though, ice ray. We go, we go. Yo, he really do not want to dunk. I thought he was going to do it. Give me that. You're a little. Ah! Damn. Oh my gosh, it's only three seconds. Oh, LaMelo. Do you know who that man is? Frequency vibrations. They don't call them vibrations for no reason. The cheerleaders not. Why are y'all pressing like y'all got a chance? Y'all don't got a chance. Stop it. I gotta have him run down court. Huh. They can't catch me because I'm uber athletic for some weird reason. He's a freak. Hey. Oh yeah, we on a fast break. We gone. We gone. We gone. We gone. See, this is why we couldn't beat Chino Hills if we played them. Well, first high school game. We did it. 19 to 11. I feel like we could have blew them out by even more. But hey, we're just some high school. This is cool. College recruiting season begins. I know I gotta have all the colleges on me. What we got? Do LSU. Kimbe Mutombo. Alonzo Mourning. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Dwayne Wade, Chris Paul, Paul George, Anthony Davis, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Ellen, I wonder you got in your race. That's lit and all, you know, those are legends, but uh, y'all got anybody from the 2010s, maybe 2020s? Mac McClung won the dunk contest, but didn't he transfer? You will develop into a top prospect in the NBA. 
under the guidance of a talented coaching staff. Legends deserve a legendary path, and that path goes through Georgetown. Everyone knows the respect that Villanova has in the basketball world, and our NBA roster boasts some of the most talented and passionate players in the NBA. Just look at the current player of former Wildcat, Kyle Lowry. This could be you, Freak. No, this will be you. We have been fans of yours. I don't like when people tell me what to do. If you were to ask me who we are at Louisville, I would respond that we are an essential basketball institution. Three national championships, 10 Final Four appearances, 21 alumni who've received 25 All-American selections. Seven of the aforementioned have received eight consensus All-American selections. Don't nobody want to play at Louisville? So, so far, we got Georgetown, Louisville, and Villanova. It's all right, I guess, but we want that UCLA bride. Next game, Crosstown Rivals, Parkside High School Dragons versus Fairview High School Tornadoes. Me and the homies all hate Fairview. Ice Ray voted to Division One All-District Boys Basketball Team for fourth consecutive year. This man is really him for him. He only got three offers. You going to just find your seat this time? Hey, seat. Yo, was Vic recording the ass? I would have too, I ain't gonna lie, but what? And she's smiling. Let me find out CC and Vic wilding behind the scenes. Hey, yo, Frank! Hey, we're gonna make it rain tonight, baby! Here we go. Let's get right off the bat. Mm, straight to the basket. This day, big man. Giannis, you're a baby to me. Buddy name is Bean, but he ain't no Kobe. My teammate was in my way. I was really finna toss that straight off the glass. Hold on, let me see. Hey! Spin move. Oh my gosh, he can't keep up with me. I see you down low. Go up on him. That's that point guard. Yo, they getting buckets on us. Don't do it. Where's the hell? Yo, somebody in the crowd just called us ass. Bang, bang. You know what time it is. Five to six. You know how NBA players always become rappers? Freak is from New York. I wonder if he gonna be a drill rapper on the side type beat. He do got the dance already. Might as well just add some theme music behind that. Give me, Give me that work. Ah, we gone. We gone. We gone. We gone. I see you over there. Okay, he passed it right back to me. Hey! Oh, give me that. Give me that. Get. I'm so tired of you. Frequency vibrations. Give me that, boy. Come on. What's his name? Bronny or am I tripping? Gregory. All right. I don't know how to read. I might be. What did Vic say? Dysliptic. Lock up, Wang. Come on, bro. Oh, we going again. We going again. Bro, he sucks. Freak, you're trash. No wonder you don't got no good offers. Who would be around that would be our competition? Jalen Hands? Was he in high school in 2016? Colin Sexton, maybe? It's a lot of great competition out there, but none like Freak, though. Spin move. You not seeing nobody else miss a shot like that. I'm going to pass it to my teammates on this one, see what they could do. Andrew, hit him with some. He got a first name as his last name. You know he getting buckets. What type of? I can't even hate the jump shot was horrible, but hey, he stroked that thing for sure, for sure. Ooh, just like me. Nope. I gotta hit him with some type of sauce. Spin move. Ooh, behind the back. Oh my gosh, made him fall. But he didn't knock down the shot. Freaky weak boy. Yo, I ain't even realize that they made a comeback. I genuinely do wonder though, what happens if you lose one of these games? We not finna find out because my gang don't lose. I broke your ankles earlier. Don't forget. Don't. Oh my gosh, I just sold. Oh, they just gonna foul him. They not even gonna try to steal the ball. I sold. Bean, bean, bean. You have a ball spot in the middle of your head. Just miss it, just miss it, just miss it. Two threes. It's the Curry era. Everybody was shooting. I asked the question, what happens if you lose? And the universe said, now you finna find out. I had 20. My teammates didn't help. College recruiting season continues. I don't want to go to Arizona. I'm going to be real. All I know about Arizona is Josh Christopher and James Harden. And I don't even think that that's that version of Arizona. Oh, oh. Whoa. 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 DeAndre Aiden. Oh, that's that Arizona. Okay. That's Gilbert Arenas, Arizona. What does it mean to be a Jayhawk? In a word... Jayhawk Nation. I'm not one of y'all. Come on, bro. Where's UCLA at? No, I'm not going to Connecticut. We get in more and more offers. We just lost the game. I don't know if we're still in the playoffs. I guess we are. State championship, even though we just lost. Continuity. That L was in canon. That was just a bad dream that he had. Parts Unknown High School. Who is sending their kids there? What? Parkside Star Freak Leads Team to State Championship will face off against defending champion Fino. Local star freak reaching legendary status in Harlem as he carries dragons to state championship birth. Yo, the stadium is packed though. This is crazy. Get the spot right now though. Oh yeah, you know my boy's about to take it. Vic and CC gotta stop flirting in front of me, bro. We are not here for y'all. He's gonna take it all the way. He's leading this, alright? Business. 
Come on, freak. Show them no mercy. Hey, we got this on, title. On, Come on. on. We got this, my boy. We got this. Hey, we take it safe, man. We take it safe. Hey, take Vic really that guy. Everybody need a hype man like Vic. Here we go. The state championship. They're giving us NBA angles now. Give me that. Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me that we losing again. Ooh, bang, bang. You see how much space he got off of that? I see you all the way. I don't know why I expected him to have some type of athleticism. My teammates suck. I'm out here all alone. And I realize that. Oh, and I don't realize that. And I don't realize that. And I don't. That's that 70s finger rule. We're gone. We're gone. Eee! Buzzer. How did y'all make it to the state championship? Y'all suck. Y'all just like every other team that we versed. Y'all just like the Bulldogs. Y'all not like the Tornadoes. They whooped our ass. <laughs> and we still going up. Uh, behind the back. Step back. Ooh. It's different. Give me Wee. Bang, bang. Really New York's finest. Like, what is you talking about? Bang. All right, let me stop. Let me stop. Yes, sir. Gregory. Hardest dude named Gregory that you know. Let me back him down. I ain't even show y'all my post work yet up in this video. Mm. He could get drafted as a power forward too. Super ultra step back. That was not super ultra. It was nasty though. Don't y'all get the fouling, man. The game is over. I'm glad that y'all know it. Hold on. Hold on. Because Force pickup is crazy. Freak. You're like three times his size. Ooh. Side step. Oh, I thought that the ball was finna go. <laughs> Game pretty much over. Might as well dribble it out just to disrespect y'all. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Game is over. You can't do nothing. You know what? Missing free throws is crazy. Oh my gosh. We gotta end the game with the ball in our hands. Hold on. <laughs> wait, we the championship team. Hold on, wait. Y'all not doing this to us. Why is the coach suit so wet? They already drowned the coach in Gatorade. They wild. Let me get that thing. Let me get that thing. Hey! We did it. We did it. Yes, sir. We won the state championship. Them shorts are high as hell. College recruiter season continues. Give me who I want now. Michigan, you're not it. No. The sun that shines there it is. Of California. Mm. We have been a banner of excellence. Excellence. You are destined for greatness. Yes. No stage is more visible than the city of Los Angeles. And the OnlyFans models. Exactly. Bro, I already know where I want to go. UCLA. Look at them. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Like I said, what are you doing? Anyways, where is Freak? Now, CC, you know your brother. He loves to make a grand entrance. He the dad and the mom look like they could be brother and sister. What y'all got going on, my man? services are needed and not before. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I'm just explaining where he gets it from. Mm -hmm. Was I missed? Boy, where were you? I was talking out the trash, mama. You're such a good son. I'm gonna miss you when you go off to college. Yeah, who's gonna do the trash detail? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry about that, Pop. Cece could take over. Uh, uh not so fast. I'm going wherever you going. Someone has to keep you on track and them college chicks off. That's right, Cece. You help tutor them. I'll take care of the young ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Vic talk like Jay-Z? I take care of the I don't got a good Jay-Z accent. These young college hotties are already hit me up, man. Oh, just tell me in the world which university. Vic, in due time. Relax, brother. Yeah, Vic, shut up. Vic was born ready. I make sure you don't cut off my head because I got to look for it. All right, everyone, I'm ready. I'm ready. Vic, you rolling? Rolling. Big shout out to my main man, Vic, holding the camera down. I ain't going to ask where you got the camera, but thanks. I like to thank my loving parents. Ew, that dirty ass hair. Each school was carefully considered, but I finally decided to choose. I've always wanted to spend time in Cali. Yeah, I enjoyed the B. Yeah, he's. I think that the. I think the subtitles got the wrong B word. Side UCLA. That's my boy. That's my boy. You read my mind, freak. You read my mind. No, I love them pretty beaches out there, man. Y'all keep saying that. Opportunity. First of all, Los Angeles prepare. Cause as new growing on the block, as yeah. new growing. Is that an inside joke? I plan to come in and contribute to the great legacy of winning there yeah. and usher a new dynasty of winning there. Thank you everyone for tuning in and see you on the West Coast. Yeah, I like the Jersey UCLA graphics. Fight, I ain't gonna lie. That... UCLA fight, 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 fight. I don't know how I feel about them doing the chant. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He does. He came out doing that. Freaking vibe. Oh my goodness, freaking vibe. Yeah, he uh. He was running from the time he was nine months old. I mean, really, the boy didn't crawl. <laughs> he skipped that and went right to running around and getting into everything. He actually became, I guess, like a neighborhood mascot. You know, people were really proud of him. They come to those games and, and watch him. And then I could see that he became 
everyone's hope. What a caring and loving mother. We in the new UCLA drip. What shoes is them? Is them twos? We're gonna act like those is twos. I'm not even gonna go all the way around on them. First game of freshman year, college game one of four. Okay, so we got four of these to go. And it's up against the Jayhawks, who we rejected. Is the coach gonna be going at our head? Top 10 already, ain't even played a game yet. I wonder how the four year players feel. First game, we got Kavon Looney on the squad. Oh, we are going right past him. Oh, I thought we was dunking by now. Is that a mascot? Hold on. So 2K added college mascots in this game but they wasn't playable in park i'm disgusted i got good teammates now the sweat is crazy the game just started buddy i like this we got teammates that actually do stuff besides basketball do they play defense without me they play defense and get rebounds without me we go self alley you Yes, sir. If y'all wondering why I went to UCLA, it's because his favorite player is Kareem. That's why. He grew up watching Kareem, so now he got to carry UCLA like Kareem did. I know that some old head in the comments is going to make up something about a player that was around on UCLA with Kareem named Lee Stanfield or some shit. And he going to say Kareem didn't carry. Lee Stanfield was there, too. And I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Who is Lee Stanfield? I swear I'll be just making up people. Ugh. Fuck Ooh, getting steals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We turning up. Why the band not playing the instruments? What are y'all doing? Pick up those damn saxophones. I mean, clarinets. Uh, spin. Hee! Dropping passes like Magic Johnson up in his mouth. Like, hold on. Ah, nobody guarding them. They try to put Michael Jordan on our team like we ain't gonna notice. This is gonna pass it to the seven footer. I'm already knowing. Why is he wasting so much time? I don't like this. Look at that. Look at that. Pass it straight to him. We're back out there. We're back. He sold. He sold. There we go. There we go. There we go. We'll take game one. Yes, sir. If you don't knock both of these down, I'm beating you up myself. He's the worst basketball player of all time. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not March Madness. Those don't go in. We won our first game. You love to see it. I'm surprised CC and Vic wasn't there for support. No cutscenes, nothing. Damn, this is a lonely college year. Mid-season test, UCLA Bruins versus Louisville Cardinals. Are we about to beat all the teams that we passed up on? Draft stock went down. That wasn't a good first game. Gang, 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 gang. Ooh, I see you, my boy. We gone. You know who else Ooh. played for? UCLA Westbrook. That's why I got that turnover, just to, you know, commemorate him. <laughs> and I'm pulling up three-pointer. Bang, bang. There we go. Hit him with the freaking environment. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. You suck. How about I get subbed out after I knock down the... All right, coach. You want beef? I just realized we in LA now, so I can't play drill music when he do the freaking environment no more. It gotta be some LA blue face. It gotta be some blue face when he do it. <clears throat> Run it up the court. Oh, yeah, buddy. You're too big. I ain't gonna lie. You look... Oh, my gosh, bro. Why did he switch? Ooh, spin move. Hey, uh, get big. Let me run around my teammates, and they not gonna pass... Freaking and vibing? Freaking and vibing? Okay. End of the first quarter, still ain't seen no freaking and vibing yet. Freaking and vibing. He really just won't. Every celebration but that one. One minute to freaking vibe. Bow. Nobody got him. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Damn, he just said goodbye to the crowd. That was disrespectful, though. I ain't gonna lie. Our last chance, we gotta break the unwritten rule of taking no shots at the end. Nothing. Mike Wayne, why do you keep putting yourself as a coach in these games? Two out of four games completed. I'm feeling very confident that we win in all of them. UCLA Bruins versus Michigan Wolverines tournament tune up. Let's do it. Gotcha, baby. We gone. You know what time it is. Let's do it. Yo, yo, yo. Defense needed. We are struggling mentally and physically. Nope. Right now. Oh my gosh. Bro just threw me. Damn. He's hurting me. Shoot that thing, Campbell. Shoot that thing. Somebody. We just got locked. <laughs> Set the screen, top of the key. It's clear that we're going to have to use teamwork against these dudes because, damn, he is just clamping my shit all the way up, ain't you? He's just the greatest defender ever, ain't you? See how better than behind that screen? Freak, do the dance. He, I see you down low. This man is throwing passes like he magic. He grew up with magic too. That's why he only throw down. Yo, he was standing close. They had a bounce. Nah, this is wild. I didn't even notice till I really. Get up. Oh yeah, stay on the ground. Hold on. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Stay on. The... Somebody go to the bank. Somebody go to the bank. Yeah, love cheating. Hey, hey. Step back. Bang, bang. Set the screen. This is supposed to be a video game. I'm supposed to be him for real. Yee, freak going crazy. You see the finesse on the ladle? See, this is what I like, man. Up by 14 with 20 seconds left. It's that domination that I was talking about. Ooh, ooh. Hey, 
Y'all yeah, don't know what happened to their defense, but they just decided to stop using it. Get out of our arena. Yeah. Three games down. One more to go. National Championship. UCLA Bruins versus Wisconsin Badgers. They didn't even try to bribe me to play for them. We got to beat them by 40. Wisconsin, not even like that for real, for real. Pass that thing over there to Looney Tunes. And he gets the ball stolen by Frank the Tank. Wow. That's off. Love to see it. Oh, yeah, we're going. We're going. Alley hoops off the rip. It's the championship game. Are you serious right now? Yo, buddy just sauced y'all. Pass that back. Oh, nobody guarding him. Top of the... I thought he was going to do it. Damn. Oh, yeah. Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah. They not paying attention. That was nasty. We going dummy. That was a steal for show, for show. Okay, that's off. Get that board. Hey, hey, hey. What y'all want to see? What y'all want to see? What y'all? That's Mikhail Jordan. Yee! I see you down court, MJ. All the way. All the way. He's nasty. Get right on them, then. They got to call a timeout. It kind of just hit me. This is really the last college game. That's crazy. I feel like we only been here for a little bit. I ain't even going to lie. MJ buzzer beater. Ah, buckets. Tell your mans to step up. Bro, it's the championship game. Do it. Yeah. Frank the Tank thought he was going crazy. Ooh, he just got murdered. Nah, that confidence got to be down in the dirt after that. I ain't going to lie. Throw it over there. Back to me. Bang, bang in the corner. How do I know my jump shot by heart? And that's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. No cut scenes. Didn't get to see no type of family. It's all good, though. We won it for UCLA. That's all that matters. Hello. Hey, Ma, it's me. Hey, Frequency. Ain't no way she called that man. Wait, is that his real name? I'm right here. Hey, baby. How you doing? I'm fine. You bet's here too, mama. Hi, mama. How you doing? Does she have to be here? It was definitely some battered cheerleaders, but I guess. I'm telling you about, he's in the room too. How you doing, ma'am? I I'm beat your son. Now. Damn. It's a pleasure to finally meet the queen mother of this young, talented man, even if only by telephone. Here comes your father. They could tell he glazing. Right. That was crazy. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hope everyone's well. How hey, you doing, Mr. Hey. Bobs? I'm doing good. So let's get to it. This meeting is strictly confidential, 100% off the record. Got this you. Happened. We weren't even here. Nah, I, this ain't the mob. I think that we could talk about this. Freak insisted that I have his entire family here. And I think it's great that he has a good support system around him. I've been doing this a very long time. And I work with some of the best. Now, let me rephrase that. I work with the best. And the best always seem to have a great support system around them. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wasn't Don Pagnotti and He Got Game? Spike Lee is bringing his real life characters. I like that. This year's NBA draft is the right move right now. And when you sign with me, Don Pagnotti, as your agent, I will make sure you are well taken care of. I will make sure you are protected. With this mm, freaking you got them shooters. I love it. Freaking and vibing. This freaking and vibing thing you do, Don't we do that. make you more money off the court than you will on. We are. I told him, become a drill rapper. You from New York, buddy. Cece, I said we because we're going to do this together. We're a team. We're team freak. But freak, you need to be in the league first, right? That's why I'm here. No, yeah, I hear you, Mr. Pagnotti, but like I told you before, I already promised my parents four years of college. Me, you could promise them four right. mil. Listen. In life and in basketball, you need to adapt and change to the situation at hand. Now, even if you have the greatest coach and they draw up the greatest play and all the X's and O's make perfect sense on paper, you still need to react to what the defense shows you and then make your move. This is the right move now. He is spinning. You're not just anybody. Mm. You are the greatest collegiate talent I have ever seen dribble, pass, and defend the basketball my entire time on this great planet Earth. Now, Miss Martha, Mr. Pete, I have seen so many of the greats jump right from high school to the pros. Freak, you've at least experienced college. You know what that is. You've been there. You've done that. I am offering you now a chance at the experience of a lifetime. Freak, I mean, what if you get hurt? You remember how you came down on your ankle in that game earlier this year? Oh, yeah, but I was nothing. Right, we know it was nothing, but next time it could be something. I saw that. Good game, but bam! Just like that, and you could be flipping burgers. Maybe I do a favor and make a call, and you're a delivery boy at Sal's Famous Pizzeria. But the bottom line is signing multi-million dollar contracts with me, mm. Don Pagnotti, as your agent. I don't so need you. Money, right? When was it not all about the money? Money isn't everything. No, it isn't, sir, and no disrespect was meant. But freak, money is freedom. Dad yeah, just pressed the money. The freedom to live. Money is the difference between renting and owning. This here is a contract. 
this makes me your agent. Sign on the dotted line, and I will take you and your family to the promised land. Like I said, Mr. Pagnotti, it's not all about the money. Pete, let the man finish. He made his point. He's finished. Aren't you finished? I said my piece, but I know I'm right. You guys should talk. Pete, what if frequency does get hurt? Shouldn't Stop calling him that. His name is an ice rake. old pro gets hurt and then doesn't have a college degree. Look how hard we work for him to get to where he is. But college isn't for everybody. Pete, you didn't go. That's why we work so hard for him. I'm just saying, I mean, if he's ready to do this now as opposed to later, Pete, anything can happen. You're right. Anything could happen. This is his future. This You're is his not life. Listening to me, Pete. Not Why are they arguing so hard over his future? Like they ain't even talking to him about it. Look, truth be told, I don't even know what I want to do right now. They exactly like it was their decision. Boy. What? And Why? He, and he was making a lot of sense. He thinks I should leave. Are you saying like that? I've, I, no, no, I've kept quiet this whole time, and I also think that Freak should join the league. I think Yvette, you just want the money. Thank you, Yvette. You're welcome. Now, Freak, I know for a fact that people have been talking about the company you keep, and you need to be careful. It could compromise what we're trying to do here. What are you trying to say? You know, your association with that guy Victor off the court, it could compromise your selection in a draft. Yo. Do you realize the difference in dollars between being drafted first overall and 21st? You're talking tens of millions of dollars. You don't get it, do you? CC, our first sneaker deal alone, you're talking a difference of a 50 to 100 million dollar difference. Just by that, number one, that's what we need. If I were not 1,000% convinced in my mind and in my heart that we could get you drafted first overall, I wouldn't be like this. This is the play, this is the move, freak. You've got to listen and to I, me. I, I absolutely hear you, but who are they to tell me who I can't hang with my brother? Why does he sound so zesty? Frequency and Victor grew up together. They're best friends. We took the boy in and practically adopted. Yeah. Martha, I told you that boy ain't nothing but trouble. Nah, that's crazy because he was just talking to Vic. That's great. He was recording and Vic was in the front room. That's crazy. Okay, but that's my boy and he agrees with y'all. It's not about agreeing with Vic. We're trying to prepare you for your future. You know, but it is his future. So this is none of your business. Yo, Yvette want that bag crazy like. So I have a decision to make. Sign with no, me. Yes or no. Can I just, can I just interrupt for one sec? Everybody just settle down, please. Now, I appreciate you all taking the time in this heated discussion, but the truth of the matter is, there's only one person in the room that can make this decision. Now, son, you know how I feel. Right. Education is the most important thing in life, but this is your choice. It's not your mother's or your sister's or mine. Mm. It's not your girlfriend. It's not Mr. Pagnotti's, and it definitely ain't Victor's. This is Why is he doing Victor so dirty? He was just in your front room. I have four beautiful children, and I want each of them to go to college and graduate. But if you I walked up your to son any off, one of those four children right now and said, I will give you a contract that's worth 100, 200, 300 million dollars, I would say, bypass college. You can always go back. I want you to graduate. I want you to get your doctorate. I want to call you Dr. Freak. But you need to understand this. Now, you can go all over this beautiful country that we live in and go into any of the major universities. You will find people that are 30, 40, 50, 60, and you will find them graduating. But if you live to be 500 years old, you will never see ever, ever somebody 40, 50, 60 years old being drafted from college into the NBA. This is your life. We will get you drafted first overall. You will be up there with all the big names. Listen to me. This is what Mr. I Pagnotti. do. I am the best at what I you do. Have had Nobody your 30 is better. Seconds plus. Miss Martha, I am sorry. You Mr. just need Pagnotti, to understand. Would you please let my wife speak? Baby, what do you want to do? Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna have Cece go through this contract, front to back. I'm gonna think about it, sleep on it, pray on it, and I will call you in the morning. All right. Listen, Mr. Pete, Miss Martha, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you over telephone. Remember, everybody, we weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche. Okay. All right, Mom, Pops, I'm gonna call you guys later. I love you. Love you, right, son. I love you too, son. Bye. Good evening, and welcome to the NBA Draft with the 12th pick. Utah Jazz select 19-year-old. <gasps> the weak-ass Utah Jazz. They got me wearing number 16, bro. Are we serious? I was just playing on the Jazz last video. 55 overall is nuts. We met working at the post office together. 
Mark uh, was a clerk and I was a carrier. Yo, he worked at the post office in this? Hold on. Because he worked at the post office in Snowfall too. Just found out here first. 2K16 and Snowfall is in the same universe. It's crazy. Let's do this, young man. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Frequency Vibration. Wow. <sighs> this is bananas. Take your time, baby. Thanks, Ma. OK, so I first want to thank everyone who made this possible. Mom, Dad, I couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> Every time I see this cutscene, I think of the Pretty Boy Fredo video where he was just clowning all of this. Vet. My dude, Vic. Hey, yo, I got you, man. <laughs> hey, all him in the building all day, man. All right. Yeah, I love you, man. I love yeah. you, in town. Okay. Man, he, he, he's like my brother. <laughs> oh, gosh. And also, want to thank my sister, Cece, who was also my manager. <laughs> uh, Swish. Love you. <laughs> I love you more. And my agent, Mr. Don Pagnotti himself. You're the man, baby. <laughs> I guess I will take some questions now. Yes, ma'am. How did you get the nickname Freak? A lot of people don't know this, but Freak is short for my very first nickname, Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> yeah, true story. Damn. Frequency and Cece are fraternal twins. And so when I was pregnant, one of them kept kicking and jumping around all the time. So my husband, Pete, put headphones on my belly and played reggae music. Hence the name Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> we shortened it to Freak. How did you know who was kicking? A mother knows. A mother always knows. Bullshit. She ain't know who was kicking. Cece is really supposed to have a name Ladies for you. Thank you all for coming. We will be available for one-on-ones in the back. Good job. Well done. Congratulations, well done. sir. Yes, sir. Made it to the NBA. Things can only be great from here, right? Finally made it to the league. That means that I gotta get upgrades now. I only got a thousand points. Damn, I don't got no badges after all them games. A thousand points. Let me put three up on here. And that's already a thousand two. You know what? I'm gonna just do two shooting bound. Athlete go up. Oh my gosh, I should have just upgraded athlete. I could probably be able to dunk if I would have did. You know what? Bow, bow. Okay, this is what we're going into the NBA with. Rookie year, first NBA game. Utah Jazz versus Detroit Pistons. Game one of eight. Let's get straight into it. Game one means just as much as game 82. Now, we have some new faces here that I really expect to make an impact for us this season. We've already seen flashes of what they can do for us, but I expect all of you to go out there and execute just like we did in camp. Ain't no more excuses. It's time to get serious. If we play our brand of basketball, there's no telling where this team can go. How did we end up on a trash jazz, though? Warm. Let's go win this game! We finna suck this season so bad. My first NBA game. Can't believe it's finally here. You work your entire life for something, and then when it's right in front of you, it's almost hard to believe. But I'm ready. And now it's time for me to show everybody I belong. And do my best to represent Harlem. Coming in at the end of the first, you already know what time it is. 57 overall ice ray. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, he don't know which way I'm... Oh, got him. Uh, so, damn, damn. All right, chill out, bro. Booker, hey, let me find out. We get an assist already. I'm going to be Rondo in this career path. It really goes to show you, though, how people be superstars in high school. Like, Pat Bed was averaging 30-something, I'm pretty sure. And then once they get to the NBA, they just suck. I'm out here getting boards and getting assists. I don't suck, though. I'm going crazy. Hold on. Pass the thing back, Trey. Uh, all the way. Hey. Uh, it's little, but ha, we got to knock that thing down. Big green. Put it in the swing. Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Uh, pull up three. I don't know how I made that, but we'll take it. Oh, yeah. I never realized how plain NBA jerseys was. Hey. Man, attributes are not needed. We out here going crazy. We're going again on the fast break. Nobody there to stop me. Nobody there. Dante Exum, you're so weird. That's why we had beef with you in 2K14. Weak sauce. Yo. I know it's just the beginning. I got a lot of hard work ahead of me to get to where I want to go to be the best player and the best teammate I could be. But this is an exciting first step, no doubt. Set the screen. Hey, run him straight into it. That screen was garbage. Pass the thing over there to Dante Exum. Cut to the basket. I'm wide open. Hey, uh, that's how you run a play. All right, down this free throw. Oh, my gosh. The last 16 seconds of the third quarter is crazy. They really giving me trash player minutes. Like, I'm not out here with six points, one rebound, and two assists. Don't pay attention to that turnover. Oh, yeah, we're going to pay attention to the good shot defense. All the way. They really know how to draw a foul. Bang, just gotta learn how to make the free throw. Yes, sir. Final quarter up by 10. You gotta let me play this whole quarter out, coach. It's the final quarter. They had no chance of coming back. 
And he just ran right past. Yeah, nah, it's probably good that I wasn't there. Knock down the shot. Because he's not expecting it. Bang, bang. Give me more minutes, coach. 11. Just like that, we won our first NBA game. I'm taking the Jazz to a championship this season. Oh, we get points from the NBA games. Oh, say less. We're going to be raw by the seventh game. I was expecting there to be a cutscene after or something. Rookie year, game six. Damn, they jumped all the way up to game 16. Utah Jazz versus Golden State Warriors. Oh, my gosh. The Warriors in 2016. We about to get scraped. Steph Curry and the Warriors next game. I've been looking forward to this for a while now. You know they'll be running and gunning. And Steph's gonna do two or three things that make you wanna stop and stare. But we can't let that distract us. Because if we lose focus for even a second, they'll be up 20. So maybe it's up to me to put on a little show of my own. The lights are about to get shot out. I don't know what he's talking about. We gotta go up against the mid-range demon, Sean Livingston. Well, we winning somehow, some way? It's cause we at home. Hold on. Ugh. Crossover. Crossover. Get out. Oh, man. oh my gosh. If I would have finished that. I see you over there, Gordon. Oh my gosh. Equidala with the youth in his body still able to do stuff on defense. No way. Equidala going crazy? Yo, all these off-ball screens. I don't like it. I don't like that's all. Yo, these off balls. Oh my! They got the center on me. You know I had to cook up. Hold on. Uh, bang! You know I gotta cook up when they got the center on me. You can't guard me, boy. Uh, spin. Oh, you can't guard me, boy. Get, get, get. Go up with that. Go up with that. Somebody. Yes, sir. I've been in this game for way too long. I did not pace myself for this. Pull up another one. Let me find out. I upgraded it for a reason, man. No minutes in the fourth, but they put me in with a score of 61 to 66. What type of... We on that. With the D minus still... Oh, bro. That's Stephen Curry. And I locked him up. I locked him up. Nope. Whoa! I locked him up! I locked him up. The late game still was crazy, and I'm not missing. And then they sub me out after I made both of those. I feel so used. Yeah! We beat the Warriors. It's official. We the best team in the league. Oh my gosh, a new cutscene. What a life, eh, freak? One minute you're playing 21 and horse on the courts in Harlem, and the next moment you're in the showroom configuring the... Gun metal and graphite exterior of your luxury car and your iPad mini. <laughs> oh, I bet you get a crazy crowd when you drive that car around the block in the old neighborhood, huh? Yeah, living the dream. <laughs> Mad pandemonium. But folks from back around the way are real proud of me. Yeah, I hear you. Local kid makes good. You know, it kind of reminds me of when I took my tech stock public and I rang the New York Stock Exchange bell and my mom's friends called her up and said, Maggie, is that your son on Bloomberg News this morning ringing the bell? And my mom says, yes, sir, Bob, it was him. Yes, sir, Bob. And you know, our lives are like a pearl necklace of great moments all strung together with the finest silk thread of memories. Does this meeting by any chance have to do with Vic Van Leer? I grew up in the burbs, freak. I wasn't poor upper middle class, comfortable. My daddy worked as an accountant for one of the largest insurance firms in the country. Smart with his money. Mom didn't have to work. I went to boarding school. And then my dad died of a heart attack when I was a freshman at MIT. It's tough to hear, man. I made my fortune by becoming a hybrid of both those interests. My dad didn't want me to be an accountant. <laughs> oh, listen to this. My best friend, was a guy named Isidore. One of the smartest human beings I have ever met in my life. I mean, Izzy was taking second year college calculus courses as a high school sophomore, right? Straight A student, full ride to MIT. Izzy had the world at his fingertips. But he was always looking for trouble and trouble found him. He ran with the wrong crowd. And when we got to MIT, he got this great job working for a financial consulting firm in Boston, but every weekend he would pew, fly to Vegas. You see, Izzy had a system for counting cards in Vegas that had the big casinos on the strip. Oh, it's dimey. He would come back to MIT with suitcases filled with $200,000 in cold cash. Sound like he knew what he was doing. Izzy was getting hit off like that. Like a fat rat in a cheddar cheese factory, freak. The analogy was crazy, but I mean, facts. Uh, not dope. Dead. What? After he'd been missing for three weeks, the Nevada State Police never found hide nor hair of Isidore. And our friendship took a hit when he asked me to hang out with him in Vegas. And I said I wouldn't do it because I knew he was on a dark and twisted path in his life. And yes, 
Yes, he was my dude. But no way was I going to throw my life away trying to show my loyalty to a guy who really and truly didn't understand what loyalty was all about. So this meeting... Hell, man, you were supposed to go out there and make money and die with him. Sir, Vic isn't Izzy. And why is that, freak? Well, for one thing, you and your dead friend Izzy didn't grow up poor. Me and Vic grew up in a neighborhood where we had to look over our shoulder every two seconds to make sure nobody was going to walk up on us and rob us. True. Izzy and I did not grow up in the hood. Why did he say it like that? Gotta be racist. This is not about class warfare, freak. This is about the consequences of making bad choices and risking it all when you feel like you have nothing to lose. Vic is like a brother to me, sir. But you shouldn't be Brother Vic's keeper, freak. Would a brother go looking for trouble and put your career and your livelihood at risk? I haven't even seen nothing bad that Vic has been doing. Oh, nightclub fights. And then scream to the media, yeah, it's all good. I'm an FOF, friend of freak. It's all misunderstanding. Nah, that's weird. Don't hate my game. I don't think a brother would do that. So you don't understand Vic? Really? Oh my gosh, Vic got caught in 4K. Ain't no way Vic got caught in 4K, bro. Don't do that. Look, man, it was a misunderstanding with the guy in the next VIP people. His honey started flirting with me. So naturally, I started flirting back. Next thing I know, Captain Cornball's off my grill piece beefing. Next thing he know, he got a two-piece and a biscuit on his left eye. Hey, nah, nah, I, I don't know who hit him. And he damn sure wasn't me. Hey, Captain Cornball's mad because I'm an F-O-F, -F, friend of freak. I don't know that, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I have no idea who that is. He's a train that hottie before he leave the house, though. <laughs> Y'all, he's... He's hot as ain't loyal, man. <laughs> Look at that demonic ass. <laughs> nah, Vic is up to no good. You know, I just want to know, how much did you pay your lawyers to make all this go away? Almost 100000 Excuse me, son. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. I said I paid almost $100,000. Exactly. And if you keep riding shotgun with Vic, you're going to go broke. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. But Vic is my friend, and I grew up with him. How many times I got to tell you, sir? Freak, this is not a request. I am not asking you to do this. I am telling you to do this. And the first order of business is that Mr. Vic Van Leer is banned from traveling with you on the road. Vic is banned from the locker room. And Vic is banned from this arena. And if I catch this guy Vic in or anywhere near the facilities, Mr. Vic Van Leer will be arrested for trespassing. Are you serious, sir? Brother. I'm as serious as cancer. We all know that can be deadly. Yo, this game is making game some wild is. jokes. Playing summer tournaments at the Dome, we always imagine making it to the pros. And after the crowds left, just a street light was on the court, like 11.30, 12 midnight. Boy, he don't give a fuck time. about your past and your new dreams. We used to practice player introductions, running on the court, giving dab, high-fiving the teammates. Vic, he would act as an announcer. And now, fresh off his three-game, 62-point scoring streak, the youngest player to ever do so in NBA history, Frequency Vibrations! <laughs> so me and Vic would sit in those empty bleachers at the Dome and dream like nobody's business. And now, and now I'm living a dream. For real. And in so many ways, Vic was part of that. Please, listen to me. I mean, I know this guy's your dude from way back. No. Me and Vic go way back like the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's, we go way back. Did you say... Did you say front seats? Fr front seats of a 67 Cadillac. We go way back like the front seats of a 67 Cadillac. Well, do you have any crickets? <laughs> I'm going to be the hit once again at Herbie Allen's Sun Valley Shindig because my fellow billionaires love it when I walk and talk that talk. So that almost sounds... <laughs> no, let me tell you exactly what it sounds like. I respect, admire, and most importantly, love you as a human being, 
and a role model. But I pay you a lot. And I mean, I pay you a lot of money to play for my team. And I am in this game to win it. And you can't win it with an albatross around your neck like Vic. So Vic is done. History. And here's some more lingo that I picked up from a former megastar who used to play for me several seasons ago. There ain't nobody playing for the Jazz, that's a megastar. And now he's the sixth man on a struggling team in Venice. And yeah, I'm talking Venice with the canals and the gondolas and Harry's Bar, not the street ballers next to the fortune tellers on the beach in Cali. This guy used to tell me when he thought there was a player destroying our team, don't be a hero, cut that zero. And that is what I am telling you about, Vic, freak. Don't be a hero, cut that zero. The only thing Vic brings into your life is headache and unwanted and unnecessary negative attention. And it will begin to affect your mindset. And when it affects your mindset, it's gonna affect your play. And when it affects your play, it's gonna affect my team. And when it affects my team, it's gonna affect my money. And if it affects my money, Google Translate will become your new freaking friend. I want a championship ring, freak, and I want you to help me get that ring. And banners after banners hanging from the rafters in this arena. So, freak hear me good. V, G, G, Vic, gotta go. At that point, y'all might as well just fade. This is getting out of hand. Handle your business. And remember, that contract you signed contains a morality clause, a very important clause that revolves around your conduct on and off the court and how it can negatively impact my team. Now, I don't want you to have to learn Italian or Croatian as a second language. You throw ball overseas, there's nothing wrong with that. But the arenas are nothing like this, nor will the money be the same. And on top of all of that, this is the U.S. of A, the greatest freaking country in the world. Ask yourself, is Vic worth all that? Think about it. Think long, think wrong. Okay. He, he has his bad rap. It's not, and I understand some of his judgments, might shadow his actual character. He's not that at all. Man, Vic, let me tell you something. We actually, like, we have love for each other. We're brothers. Blood couldn't make us any closer at all. I mean, he he has so much um, loyalty to me and to my family. You could see even Cece, you know, has uh, issues with him, but he's he still loves her. He still loves her. So what I've gathered from all of this, uh, Vic is on BT. The manager might be racist just a little bit. And he at L Mans for not making money with his homie and letting him die out there alone. And uh, Vic gotta go. He definitely gotta go. Like, that's our man. So don't get it wrong. Y'all saw his face. That's not Vic no more. That's Van Leer. That's a villain now. Rookie year game 24, Utah Jazz versus New Orleans Pelicans. Bring it on, bro. It's just now hitting me. I think that we're gonna verse all the cover athletes. See down there, Gordon? Go all the way, boy. Ooh, crossover, hey! Yeah. Anderson not doing nothing special. Anderson not doing nothing special, and then he just gets the ball right back. Man wearing 33, his favorite player, probably Larry Bird in real life. Hey! That one. That is him. We gone. We gone. We gone. I see you down court, my boy. Yeah! Me and Gordon Hayward, the 70s, 2010s connection. Oh my gosh. Big man. Guard him. Tyreek Evans before the Coke. Oh, he's garbage. Ali, you coming your way. Ali, never mind, no alley oops. I see you over there though. Bucket? That jump shot was uglier than life. Green hair? Or am I tweaking? Bang, bang. There we go. Finally. Things can't keep going like this. They tied up the game. Coach, take me out after I make this full court shot. Hold on. Almost. Yo, ain't no way. If Gordon Hayward knocks down three threes, we got a chance there. Gordon, I'ma need you. Ooh, see you right there. See you right there. Never mind. He's he's not the one to do it. He's too scared. Hey, bang bang, top of the key. That's nasty. Dante Exum, you suck. The only color I care about is green. Money. Now you've certainly made some money so far, freak, but it's time we make more money. 
I'm talking movies, TVs, endorsements, even your own brand Jordan sneakers. I care about the game first, Dom. All that sounds great, but don't you think it's a little too early to be talking about all that? Too early? LeBron was 12 years old in sixth grade when he was thinking Space Jam. Yo, and LeBron was in Space Jam in 2021, 22, something like that. They just predicted the future. Oh, money. That's right. Money. Dollar bills, y'all. Why do you think they put presidents on them? Because that's what presides over us. I ever tell you guys about the first dollar I ever made? No, Dom, but you're about to. Yo, check this out. CC, it's a great story, right? So I'm seven years old, Queens, New York, 1973. My older brother Lonzo, he's got a lemonade stand. So that summer, I'm like, Lonzo, you know, let me help out. Let me make a couple of bucks with you. He's like, all right, Dom, come on. I'll teach you the business. So I'm pouring tons of sugar. I'm squeezing the lemons. I got the lemonade stand all set up. I'm like, yo, I got this, right? So I'm watching during the course of the day. I'm noticing something Lonzo's doing. He's not charging for refills. That summer, I convinced Lonzo, no more free refills, and we make $2,000 plus tips. Off what? Lonzo lemonade? I'm, I'm finna start selling this. lemonade. Who wanna start up the lemonade business with me? I'm like the Italian American Magic Johnson, running point for Team Freak. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the only person running point around here will be me. CC. <laughs> Look at my watch, what do you see? Not this again, I've seen the movie. This is diamonds and platinum. Gold, forget about it. Silver, forget about it. This is diamonds and platinum. It's power and speed, freak, this is what you have. You are on your way to being the biggest thing in the NBA. I'm proposing now that we dominate off the court as well as on. I can't believe I'm saying this, freak, but Dom has a point. You've been establishing yourself on the court and now it's time to take it off the court. Brand Jordan sneakers, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Listen, Freak, you're gonna have to decide the legacy you wanna leave. But I'm not some agent from the Yellow Pages. I'm Dom Pagnotti. I'm the man, the myth, the legend, the king, number one. I'm the best, and I'm a shark. And the Pagnotti shark is working for you. And we gotta set new goals and bigger goals, okay? I'm talking all-star game. I'm talking dunk contest. When was the last time you saw an NBA great in a dunk contest, huh? I'm talking first team all NBA, first team all defensive team. What about social media? Yvette, great idea. Social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let's kick it up a notch. www.freakinginviving.com. That's right, your own website. I've already set it up for you and it's running great. Wait, hold okay? up. Listen, I'm in negotiations right now on a feature that will allow viewers to watch Freak and only him and his plays during the game. Yeah, but you set up a website without consulting me? Yeah. When did this happen? Last week. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna be epic. CC. I love you, but I got no time to waste, and you're out there busy doing whatever it is you're doing. Whatever I'm doing? You know what? I'm really sick and tired of the disrespect. This is Team Freak, not the Dom Pagnotti I Italian American Opera. CC, calm down, all right? Dom here, he's just trying to take us to the next level. Look, Ming Ching, I don't even know. Yo, that was crazy. Chill. No, I'm done chilling. Between your clown agent and your gold digging girlfriend, I've had enough. Gold digger. You're the winner of the lucky sperm. Is that a fake move? You know, I am currently starting my own fashion line. I've already got model contracts from Beijing to Milan. Not to mention I graduated top of my class. Summa cum laude. You mean thank you, laude? I don't need a man to save me or provide for me, okay? I got my own, boo. Mm, okay, well, if that's the case, then why has all your success and fame coincided with your relationship with my brother? I mean, if you're really on top of your game, wouldn't that have happened before y'all even met? Right? You know what, CC? You're just jealous. It's okay, though. Why don't you just play the background, yeah? Enjoy the ride. Y'all both done yet? May I continue? Now listen, as far as movie properties go, I've already got a script based upon a story of your life, Freak, okay? So guys, check out these possible titles. Freaking and Vibing, Life and Times, Volume 1. The Freak Chronicle, Freak the Fast and Furious. Okay, Part stop one it, it. And stop this it, my favorite stop freak. it. You're gonna love this. He got Pagnotti. <laughs> oh, okay. You love All it, right? right? Dom, 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 Dom. He worked for me. You have to follow my lead. I'm all for your ideas, but in due time. As for now, I want to focus on the court, and we'll discuss some of your ideas at a later date, understood? Just lost yeah, to the Pelicans, and you talking about so movie yeah, ideas. All right, good, thank you. Vet, chill. You cannot let Cece get underneath your skin, but on the same token, you cannot go out of your way to piss her off. I don't have time to be playing peacekeeper between you two. You know what, we need to talk about this afterwards alone. Fine. Cece, Cece, you need to hold this together. You and I both agreed long ago that Don was the best agent for me. He has delivered. Or oh, is Methus questionable? Is he a shark? Yes and yes, but he's our shark. He's what's best for me, which means he is what's best for all of us. Your job is to bring us balance. Manage the team, sis. 
We all need to be on the same page. You're right. But blood is thicker than water. You know, I ain't trying to hear all that. I'm not here to hold hands. I'm here to win games and achieve greatness on and off the court. But in order for that to happen, I need everybody, everybody to be on point. Essentially, get right or get gone. I don't have time to be teaching you guys how to work together. It either starts. You can't now, say that, but then elsewhere. keep Vic on the team. Squashed. That's kind of crazy. Squashed. Zucchini. Mr. Dom Pagnotti. Uh, Mr. Diamond and Platinum himself. It's a love-hate relationship. What are you thinking about people who see your brother as just a meal ticket? Well, that's why I'm there. I'm the gatekeeper. Yep. I, I can smell it from a mile away. When you take time out of your own personal life, do you have a personal life? I do. Where at? Violated. I think Freak is your personal life. You can think whatever you want, mister. But, um, I have a personal life. Thanks. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I think that should end the interview right now. Yeah? It's great meeting you. Why he just do it like that? <laughs> Game 33, Utah Jazz versus Houston Rockets. Lock that up. Oh my gosh, James Harden and Dwight Howard on the same team. I forgot that that even happened. Ooh, these new dribble moves is nasty. Oh my gosh, that was so unnecessary. Why did he just try so hard? We could have been one if we threw fast breaks. Knockdown. Ooh, freaking and vibing. Freaking and vibing. Utah don't got no music, so I don't know what to put right there. James, you guarding me. You already know I got to sauce him up then. Uh, uh. Ooh, you already know I got to sauce him up then. James Harder can't hold me. Me, me. Top. Cash nasty. Let's go. On the fast break, bro. The Rockets. Yo, my sis. Why did he just run up to the crowd and do that? He couldn't afford the other half of the undershirt. What is going on? We got to finish off strong. Up by five, a minute 19 to go. I believe that we got it in us. We just can't foul because they in the bonus. Yo, ain't no. And I foul as soon as. <laughs> this game can't be serious. The White Howard can't be Oh, yeah. All the way. All the way. Go up. Shoot it. Shoot it. This man wanted to go to the line so bad. I believe that Alec Brown. Ooh, all the way. He's he, I thought we got our board. No threes. Oh, yeah. That's great. Deep. Can we please run an actual? Oh, yeah. Rudy Gobert is too big. Mm, that's easy. Buckets. Easy. Rudy, go up. Go, ru what did I just witness? Couple seconds. <laughs> Ain't no way I just saw it like that. And he missed. Thank you. I don't know how we made it out. Very trash gameplay. We made it, though. I told you. Dom Pagnotti always delivers. Brand Jordan Freak prototypes. Open the box. Jimmy. New sneaks. Like Christmas and my birthday on the same day. Oh. Oh, Dom. You love him? Uh, I love him. Why are you lying? Purple, white, orange, and blue should never go together on a shoe. In fact, not if we trust. I told oh, you you'd love him. Man. Hey, I'm going to have you playing in those 30 days or less. Oh, money. Hey, we got our own shoe now, though. That's lit. Might be a little ugly, but who cares? It's ours. Game 42, Utah Jazz at New York Knicks, and we got on their colors on our shoes. Let's get it. Coming home, New York City, baby. I'll be honest. I'm pretty excited. Mama, Pops, and Cece, yeah, they're going to be there. Playing in front of them in the NBA uniform for the first time is going to be a special moment for me. Now, I know all of Harlem's going to be watching. No pressure, right? They could have let me start in New York, but I guess not. I like the light and I like the court. Honestly, we should have got drafted to the Knicks. Should have had that Lonzo Ball storyline. Eee, I see you down low, my boy. Yo, I thought he missed. Give me that. Wait, you ain't even see me. He ain't even here. Down by one. Sauce it up. That's off. Oh, y'all. Ugh, Kyle O'Quinn is way too big to be guarding me. He can't keep up. Knock that shot down just because. Good help. Thank you. That's all I asked for. That's all I... Am I selfish if I try to... He got it. Gordon Hayward with the ISO. Fade away. He's him. How did we go down 20? All right. I got subbed out and we went down 20. Obviously, the team needs me. Okay. They don't need shit. We lost by double digits, but I have five points, so it's okay. As I was saying, we got a real big problem. All this kitty stuff. You evil twin CC and Dom got you doing a... Uh, vet. What was that word he was using? Uh, Rebrand? No, 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 no. Um, recalibrate. All this stuff they got you doing to recalibrate your images cost you in the hood, fam. What? Is Watch he playing 2K15 on 2K16? How many times do I have to tell you? The streets ain't always right. No, 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 no. It's always good in the hood. Uh, let's not forget, I am a student of human nature. I thought Freak said that we was cutting off the bad stuff. Why is Vic still here? What is going on? Okay, what are your suggestions, Victor? 
He wants you to rob a bodega. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not talking about some focus group. I'm talking about the hood. They don't trust you no more. Coming to the arenas, wearing them tight pants y'all ballers be wearing. You wearing it's red just... cargo pants. Your ankles be choking. <laughs> Air it out some. People don't see themselves in you anymore. Look at me. I don't even rock with the hood no more. I'm a suburban dude now. You want to recalibrate? Fine, B. Go ahead. We'll recalibrate back to. Why is his neck hanging out like that? Oh my god. Represent. You know what I'm saying? Like, where's that Jesus piece you used to rock? Not that. That shuttle's work. With them fake chains we used to wear. Yo, but that's my point. Yo, let me get you some nice jewels, huh? Make it flossy. Get you a new whip. Something that the hood would love. Let's remind these fools that you the Harlem Renaissance up in this piece. Get a club. I can wait around, man. I mean, if an NBA player owned a club, that would be lit. Yeah, and get some nice free vet too. Nah, but for in all seriousness, you vet is a gold cool digger. We all see. It. Is that bad? Yo. Cats be laughing at your corner commercials, B. Come on. But I'm on commercials. Yo, we could change all that. What is this logic? Hey, now, I know CC's your manager and all, but everywhere she leads, you can't always follow. Now, I'm not trying to catch no charge, but CC got people out here laughing at you, fam. I will hoop them up. Now, just let me take care of everything. You the CEO, I'm the CFO, chief Boston officer. You hit me with that bread, and I got you. CC. How y'all doing? Uh, CC. Freak, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what up? In private? Cece, go ahead. Okay, well, I thought we were supposed to be having a private meeting today to discuss business. Cece, what you think we're doing? Am I talking to you? <laughs> you know what? Y'all ain't talking business. Y'all talking nonsense. We were actually discussing the questionable nature of the promotional strategy that you and Dom have employed on Freak's behalf. Now, it doesn't necessarily resonate with his core fan base, primarily due to the fact that it negates the legitimacy of his personal background and history in favor of reaching a larger, primarily more disinterested demographic that would prefer to judge Frick's past as opposed to appreciate it. They what want this man to be John Moran. Four times 25, 100. Oh, so now you know your times tables. Yvette, occasionally proving that you're articulate doesn't mean you have business acumen. Beyond, of course, your clear mastery of basic arithmetic, we all know you can add up how much freak makes. Okay, Cece, that's enough. <laughs> no, no, you know what, Cece? You're absolutely Anywho, right. Freak, and the speaking reason... of basic arithmetic, how much of Freak's money do you take? Okay, I mean, what, did I I what? what did I just say about Team Freak? A manager? Is that what you know what? No, the right. only members of Good. Team Freak in here are me and you. Oh, you know what, Cece? This isn't the womb, okay? It's not just you and Freak. Speaking of, how's that going for you? Hey, come on. Oh, Cece, check on me. You know what? I think I'm I'll out. join oh, you. She be violating her. Please have a seat. I would just love to hear what you all were just discussing. Better yet, let me guess. Hey, yo, I'm saying, dude, what you need to do is hit up these parties. Yeah, you need to show these fools how you still have my love for the hood. Get you some flossy jewels. Make sure every time they see you whistling the new whip. Better yet, let's get us a dealership or a club or something. Never mind that house you promised your twin sister, you promised you get for your parents who are still in the projects where you left them. Yo, that's not fair. I ain't leaving my ass. Hey, and and you know I'll never leave my parents in projects. Thing, fam. I'll take care of everything. All you gotta do is break me off with that bread. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow. You know what, Cece? I don't know what's going on with you tonight, but I think it's best you go home. We will continue our meeting here. You asking me to leave? Yes. Hey, yo, freak. It's all good, man. As a matter of fact, CC, now, I know you don't like me. You never have. Now, I don't know what I ever did to you, but at this point, does it really matter anymore? Look, I just want you to know that I'm really sorry, but whatever it was, I can honestly say it was not intentional. Hey, Freak, man. think about what I said earlier, man. I ain't trying to catch no charge. Bet, you ready? Let's bounce. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Why is Vic and Yvette riding with each other? I don't put 
anyone above you, not even myself. You sure about that, Cece? What would you just call all this? I mean, you come in here blowing up my spot and you insult my brother? He's not our brother. You disrespect my woman. <laughs> Just trying to protect you. From who? From the likes of you? But you don't think I realize that I have vultures and blood-sucking leeches in my life? Don't think I realize that you're one of them? Blood-sucker? Yeah, but you know what? That's what I think the problem is. It's because you realize you're no better than them and you're ashamed. You're worse because we share the same blood. And just because they don't have the same blood running through their veins as us, doesn't mean that they don't love me. Yeah, their love might be flawed, but it's true. I don't mind the people closest to me leeching off me. Yes, you do leech off me, and I leech off you too. You love business and you love me. I use that. Vic? Uh, Vic? You know you don't mind running these streets. He's my connection to things I don't want to deal with anymore, so I let him do him. I take care of him, and in return, he looks out for me in places you know you can. And as much as you don't want to hear this, Yvette, she is the eye of the storm in my life right now. She is my only calm. She's my peace, my shelter. I use these people and they use me. I don't call what you do using me, I call what you do caring for me. Forgive yourself and forgive them for using the resources at their disposal to get what they need. Just trust me. I've always had a good judge of character, even before I was born. Remember? Because I chose to come in this world with you. That's right. It was me and you in the womb just kicking it. Right? Right? I was born first. <laughs> yeah, you were. Mm -hmm. Dang, gang, gang. He just had to check it right quick. You know what I'm saying? She was wild and low key. I ain't gonna lie. But Vic idea Some was stupid. You You're a leech. Why is that the word? Because people just don't know. They yo. be hating. They be hating. They hating on my game. They hating on our friendship. See, FOF, friend of freak. See, nobody got that like I do. And everybody else wants that. Who doesn't? But that's my boy. I'm in that spot. That is my lane. And everybody else just gotta make way for that, you know? That's him, but who are you? Nah, man, I just, I got my own life, you know? People think I'm just sitting back and riding on him, but that's not the case, yo. I got, I got dreams, I got dreams, yo. See, my, my boy knows, right? There's, there's two ways that I could do this. I could do it a legit way, or I could do it the crooked way. And I'm really, really, really trying not to do it the crooked way, but Freak can help me do that. He could put, put you on? Maybe. You gotta do what you gotta do when you need to do it to mm. get ahead. Mm -hmm. And. That's what I do, and I'm just really good at it. What can I say? I get by, day by day, step by step. That was a villain speech. Van Leer back at it again, man. Only two more games left to go. It seemed like we just blowing straight through these eight games. Going up against LeBron and the Cavs, game 67. Timothy the Goat Mozgov is on the team. I forgot that he played for the Cavs. It don't seem like this was that long ago, but then I really think about it, and it's crazy how much time has passed. Kyrie went to the Celtics, and then he went to the Nets, and now he on the Mavericks. That's off. Kevin Love just finally leaving. LeBron been on the Lakers since 2019. It's crazy how quick time flies. Curry, the only person in the league that's loyal, honestly. And Clay, Draymond, he finna be out of there if he punch one more person. Oh yeah, can't forget about Giannis. He been on the Bucks this year too. Oh my God, we're not losing to the Cavs, man. They an Eastern Conference team. The East not even that good. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah, we back down court, back down court, back down court. Tino Hills, Tino Hills, Tino Hills. Uh, going up with it. Hey. There we go, man. My teammates just gotta learn how to pass it on the fast breaks. Is this LeBron pre-hair transplant? It's really sculpted it out. Ah, uh, you could kind of see the fake hairs right there. Yeah, I guess you can see the little fake hairs growing in. All right, so this is definitely after the hair transplant. Rudy Gobert, okay. This game is so irritating with the passes. They know exactly who I want to pass it to. Ooh, I wasn't expecting to get that Mosty. I'm on everything. I'm on everything. Who else is getting steals like that for the reverse? Yo, you gotta lock up. Oh my gosh, he's dunking on everybody. And he pointed at you. I ain't gonna lie, you got a sock on him after that. Oh, hoo, hoo. he got lost in the sauce. And I saw, we going, I see that actually made it through. I'm him right now. I set the big body for him right quick, pop out. Uh, pull up, bang, bang. I ain't made a three in about four games, man. I just swatted the soul out of that. Oh, yeah, and we go. Uh, finally got a chance to make a three. We down by 20? When did that happen? When did... I'm fouling out. Get me out of here. <laughs>
Basquiat, let's go. Got that R for y'all, that real spit. Uh, they call me Basquiat. The Harlem take my pockets full of fat knots, making all the ladies drop. Paint me street corners green. My bank owes the color bills. Seen half man, half of amazing. Call me Simi, I did Demi Gog. I know that some of y'all know this whole song word for word. The streets is hopeless. I'm not hopeless and painting pictures. Making new kind of spell of banking up to old figures. We call me Bossy Yachts. Pockets full of fat knots. Dust till dawn. Your boy makes a street pop. Got it all locked. Body don't stop. Make it high. Love it when the bunnies bounce. When they all stop. Bossy Yachts. On the seven seas. Making way to the world. Don't see me. Bossy Yachts. My pockets go deep. I'm tired. I get up and then creep. I'm on my hustling grind. I'm all about my money. No time for playing games. When the game ain't funny, ain't funny. Okay, yo, he's nice. What's his name? <laughs> hey, he goes by the name Basquiat, yo. Basquiat puts game down on them bars, yo. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, we record a nice mixtape. Hey, do a nice video. Get some honeys up in there dancing. Hey, we can build a franchise around this, yo. Hey, I want us to do a deal, freak. What you mean by us, Vic? I mean us, as in you and me, me and you, putting some serious Skrilla behind this and... Put me on, man. I'm Basquiat. What? You heard me? <laughs> I'm Basquiat. That's me. That's you? Yeah. 100. <laughs> okay, you nice with it. What? <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Basquiat. Yo. We don't need no major label to make this happen, man. And in the end, we reap all the benefits. Think about it. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. Mm. I know as we pass Colonel Young Park, too. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy was the best. I remember when she took us from park to park so we could play ball. And she taught us how to be comfortable in places other than the courts and the projects. Word, word. <laughs> Yo, Coach Judy would have us shoot hundreds of jumpers all <laughs> over the court with both hands. And hey, you caught onto the ambidextrous thing real <laughs> fast, though. All right. Now, but you were a beast with the hops. You were like 13, five, six, and could reverse dunk <laughs> with two hands. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, used to bug all the older dudes out on the court. Yep. You know? <laughs> Oh, good times, man. Good times. What's wrong, Vic? Mm. What's wrong? It's nothing, man. It's... It's silly, really. Come on, Vic. Fess up. I'm just... I'm thinking about how fortunate you are. You know how, how blessed you are. You, know, you, you grew up with a mom's and a dad, both parents. Your family treated me like family when my dad died in Greenhaven in his ninth year on his 40 year bed. You remember that? Yeah. And I turn around, my mom's died from that flu. But that sick parting gift my dad left my mom's. No, oh, I feel you, babe. It's all right, man. You know, your moms and pops are good people. You know, may they rest in power. So you're gonna patronize me now? Mm -hmm. You're gonna pity the little boy whose worthless, low-budget parents died from AIDS? Is that what you're gonna do? Yo, don't, don't pity me, all right? And don't play me, neither. As a matter of fact, go play the lottery, because, hey, you never know. Your chances might Yo, be better. Vic, 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 Vic. What are you doing right now? You got everything, don't you, freak? What do I have? Nothing. Man, I ain't got nothing. You, you won't even, you won't even, you cheap but won't even front me. The squill I need to back, a Basquiat mixtape, yo. Wow. And on top of that, I get banned from traveling with the team. I get banned from the locker rooms. I get banned from the arena. But what? Would you let them do this to your best friend, man? What kind of friend are you? Vic, you being serious right now. You're serious. Yeah, Yo, you sound like you on some Welch's sour grape right now, man. You jelly? 
I ain't jealous of you, freak. You sure, man? Because this, well, I don't know what you call this little tirade. It spreads like some Welch's grape jelly. Are you jealous? Like I said, I ain't jealous of you, freak. As a matter of fact, I think you are jealous of me. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's right. I think you jealous of the way that I'm laying it down with these hottie hotties on Instagram while you stuck at home with your one blazing beauty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't get heated because you went behind my back to get at Yvette and she turned you down, B. Hmm? Oh, whoa, whoa, what's wrong, Boss Kiats? Yeah, that's right. Look at you. Out there drowning in the middle of a whack lake without a lifesaver. Brother, real talk. Mm -hmm. You know how I get. All right, I was I was feeling a little friendly. I yeah. got a little loose with it. No. You know me, man. Save that riff for Heathcliff. You bet told me all about it. I kept it on a low low. See if you ever was gonna mention it. You did it. You broke the code, B. One never steps to his boy's boo even after they break up. But you broke the code. And you know you did. <laughs> but you know what? It's still all love here. But it's you who chooses this life in these streets. You know, you want to get on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tinder, trying to chase these thirsty tens. Yeah, use my name as a coupon. Reel them all in. Hey, sweet thing. Hey, sweetie pie. Hey, shawty, you know I'm a FOF, a friend, a freak. And then when they husbands and boyfriends start coming after you and you want to play the macho man role, start throwing hands, scrapping and fighting, who's the one that has to bail you out of jail? Huh? Who's the one that has to pay these lawyers in six-figure settlements, huh? Me! Not you. Oh, no, not you, Vic. And then, and then when you want to throw, these lavish parties without consulting me? Who's the one stuck with the bill, Vic? Huh? Me. Not you, but me. I have hit you off in the past 10 months with a quarter of a million dollars, Vic. A quarter of a million dollars. That's a lot of money. I don't mind you eating, but when you being a glutton and a glutton off my plate and my food, Love is love, but I'm keeping it 10 times 10 with you right now, Vic. 100, as usual, 100. You right. You're right, Freak. <laughs> You've been carrying me for a long time. And I've been a burden hindrance to you. And I'm sorry. I thank you for your generosity of finance. I thank you for your generosity of friendship. Oh, he's changing. Thank you. Your generosity of spirit. You know what? It's all good, my brother. But you owe me. Oh, you. Yeah, you Never mind. Me. Yeah, how you figure Big that? Big time. Uh-huh. How? How? Dirt. Bike. Don. <laughs> Remember him? Dude who was robbing everybody in the towers? Vic, I thought we was never, ever going to talk about that. Oh, you thought wrong, homie. <laughs> ah, I remember it like it was yesterday. Remember when we were on the stairwell in the building? Remember that? We had just brought our sheepskin coach from Delancey Street, a senior year of high school. You were the hottest prospect in the country. <laughs> and, and Donnie's... Jealous butt, man. He had it out for you and me. But more so you, Freak. More so you. <laughs> Remember when he saw our brand new fresh sheepskin coats? Oh, dude lost his mind. He ran up on you and told you to run it. Man. Oh, man, he wanted your Yo, no, nah, Vic. Oh, he wanted Vic, it so Vic, bad. Nah, we were fighting, all right? We were fighting. OK, then he reached in this coat. And when he pulled, yeah. we struggled, man. Yeah. And when he pulled back, he fell down stairway by himself that's right, that's and right, cracked his right. head in two. Yo, man, hey, calm, calm down, calm down. Freak out of body. Many men wish death upon me. Blood in my dog. It's all good, fam. I was there. Remember that? I was there. I saw the whole thing. <laughs> it's like you said. 
Everything happened so fast, you know? You, you was working off of adrenaline and pure instinct. I know you didn't try and do it. Yeah, I know you didn't try and do it, man. Yeah. Anyway, I took care of all the loose ends when you ran down the flight of steps. Left me holding the bag. So your secret is safe with me, Freak. Has been and always will be. Safe from that same morality clause that you threw in my face when I was banned from your NBA life. <laughs> so, next time you want to talk about food, remember. When Dirt Bike Donnie looked at you like food, who was it that saved the day? Me! It was me! Victor Van Leer, who cleaned your dirty plate for you! Oh my gosh, he's a full-on villain now. You're a clean freak. You're clean it in the board of health. Cause of who? Cause of me! You got all this because of me! And don't you ever forget that! started twitching. He just went full villain Van Leer mode on us. <laughs> the evil laugh. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, I, just, I just thought of something so funny. You gonna get kicked out of this. You gonna get kicked out of this. Yo, I need you to ask you for one more favor. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious, bruh. That's hilarious. Hey, hey, it might be the last favor I ever ask of you, but you gotta admit that's really funny. Yeah, of course. Anything for FOF. <laughs> oh, <laughs> says the NBA megastar, his voice dripping with the sarcasm. <laughs> hey, yo, peep this. Let me borrow this here ride, man. <laughs> hey, come on, come on, it's not like you're gonna miss it. It's just gonna sit in your Tribeca garage next to your Aston Martin and your Lambo, mm. and we both know they're collecting dust. <laughs> yo, how many whips you got anyway? Man, come on. Yeah, you're right. I don't even want to know. Yo, this ride is for sure an aphrodisiac for all the hotty hots. <laughs> man, we living a life, man. My main man, Frequency Vibrations. We for sure living the dream. I need this back at the end of the season. And the same condition, repeat, same condition. Same condition. That I lent it to you. Mm -hmm. Pristine, Vic. I know, I know what that word means. Hey, <laughs> I, I won't let you down, man. I'ma treat this ride like one of my own hottie hots. No. No? No, you not. Not in this car, you not. No. <laughs> All right, man. I won't let you down, okay? I will change my ways, I promise. Yo, you hungry? I'm hungry, man. Let's go get something to eat, man. Let's, let's, get, let's, let's get some grub. Huh? What do you say? What do you say? Wow. We just got a lot of story, man. A lot of new info was just learned. Vic tried to get at Yvette. That mean that Yvette loyal? Okay, I didn't see that twist coming. And Freak caught a body. He really about that life. This man is just stressing, walking around. It's all right. Vic already knew that you killed him. You don't got to worry about him saying nothing. Maybe mess up the brakes on the car just in case. No witnesses. You okay? What's going on? Same old, same old. Mm. Wow, your shoulders are really tight. I they stressing you out again? Yeah. Well, you know you always got me, right? <laughs> I'm always gonna be here. Baby, I'm your ride or die. And as quiet as it's kept, you and I are the real team freak. <laughs> of course. What are my moms? I never had this feeling with any other woman in my life. And she gave me a different feeling, which was something I fell in love with. I never asked her to be my girlfriend. It just became that. You could tell when we started falling, like, I get a text message and she's, huh, huh, who's that? And it's just like, oh, so we worried now. 
Oh, so no more of that? All right, you know what I mean? So that's how, that's how I came to agreement. What's different about Yvette? Well, when you could teach me something or give me knowledge about anything, I'm already attracted to you as a person. I love learning, and she was very intellectual, and she's a very strong woman. And in this life, I need a strong woman. Shout out to Yvette, man. I thought she was just a gold digger. Turns out she out here rejecting Vic, and Vic is really not the homie for real. Everything just broke down so crazy. Everybody want money, and Yvette is loyal. Vic over here talking about we killed somebody. Cece calling everybody leeches, even though she a leech. The parents don't even be around no more. If this is what come with being an NBA player, I'm low-key glad that I didn't make it, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it. Anyways, game 78. The season's almost over. Utah Jazz versus San Antonio Spurs game seven of eight. What is so important about this guy? Tonight, we've got an opportunity to affect the playoff race. These guys need the win, and we're standing in their way. So this game means something. And I intend to go out there and show them everything I got. The goal of this game is to stop them from making the playoffs. That is <laughs> evil, but I mean, hey, that's how it got to be. I predicted that we would be good by game seven. This should be light, even though they just won a championship two years ago. They got old so quick. Get that out of here, boy. Maybe we is good now. Such a stacked team, though. Kawhi Leonard, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, Tim Duncan. I got you with the... No, no. Kawhi probably had no facial expression when he did that dunk. Oh, yeah, this game is fake his mouth would not be open we've all seen Kawhi's face when he dunked hey behind the back I see you down low my boy hey I forgot all about stance socks I used to want those so bad because of this game it's crazy how video games can influence what a kid wants oh yeah I'm on the way hey why does Tony Parker think that he got uh, okay okay yep they got it oh we back on the other side hey I'm happy that he saw me because they do not be trying to pass me the ball. The lead is ours. Y'all are not going to the playoffs. Double team Danny Green. I see you over there. Gordon, pull up. Bang, bang. They're not making it. We're really saucing up right now. Double team. Yo, the dime. Oh my gosh, Rudy Gobert. How didn't we make the playoffs? Up top. Bang. I'm still shooting. 58-3 ball. They got to call a timeout. Hey, somebody getting it. Did I just make an alley -oop? Make two point three point eight. Hey, we'll take it. Yes, sir. That was a hundred percent meant. Hold on, let me run right past him. Oh, I got him. Yeah, Tony Parker can't hold me. Hey, fade away. I am him right now. How did they take the lead and win? What? Bro, nah, get me off this team ASAP. The manager over here talking about sending me to Taiwan. Send me to Taiwan, please. I was putting in work this game too, bro. 15, 2, and 4. Really him for real. Running right past the defense. Come on. And just like that, we lose another game. The main goal was to stop them from making the playoffs. We need Vic on the team. He a real villain. He could have did it for real. Yeah, send him in. Cece. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. My pleasure. Freak. Great game last night. That's what I do, right? Indeed. Have a seat. Pagnotti. How you doing? Thought you'd be selling used cars by now. Funny. Comedian. I thought you would have invested in some new clothes, being a team owner and all. I see you still rocking that goodwill look. Freak, what are you hanging around with this guy for? You know he's bad company, right? Got no choice. He helped me pay the bills. Plus, our mother loves him. Thank you all for coming by on such short notice. Well, so you know why we're here, right? Not really. You want to negotiate an extension for Freak, right? Well, since you mentioned it, your client is quickly becoming a liability for this organization. We've already put a plan in place that's finish, going to address Dom, all your concerns please and issues. Let me finish. Thank you. Myself, the front office, and the coaches are not satisfied with the adjustments you've made in your life off the court. I personally warned you about the company you keep, and we're fed up with the late nights and showing up late to shoot arounds and the bad press and the incident at the nightclub. I told you Vic was gonna be your downfall and I was right. Something has to change now or we're not gonna need your services any longer. Is that a threat? Twitter stuff, Vic was playing. Okay, it was a joke. It's not about that, it's everything. But like I told you before, Vic is my best friend. I can't just cut him off, he's practically family. Not really. What exactly are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything, Dom. I'm saying it. Freak and his friend Vic are a problem for me and this organization. And I called you in here to figure out how we all together can fix this problem. And right now, I'm only seeing one solution. I agree that Freak may need to make some adjustments in his personal life off the court, but that's a learning process. We both know that. But this, 
This almost sounds like a threat. Is this a threat? Call it what you will. We all know that Vic is a problem. The only person who doesn't seem to realize that is my brother. I'm sorry, bro, but enough is enough. I don't have a problem with what you're saying. I have a problem with how you're saying it. Is they about to scrap well, in the office? To some understanding without all the ultimatums of threats. Can we all come to a understanding, a compromise? No, no more compromises. I already warned Freak. I told you, don't be a hero. Cut that zero. He so did say lose. that. That is something that he we'll said. Trade freak. It's that simple. Fine, we'll go sign with another team. Dom, you know how this works. This is not about you and me. Help him. You talking as if I'm invisible. You talking around me, about me, but not to me. Vic has always had my back. And I've given this team everything I got. Some days I might even show up a little late to shoot arounds. But every time I'm on that call, I've always given my best. And I see how it is, though. I mean, us players got to be loyal to you, but you don't have to be loyal to us players. Try to give me some father and son talk, talking about how you love your players and how you look up for them. Come on, man. You trying to cut me off like you cut off Izzy. Don't you have people loyal to you no matter what? Mm, brought in the people old you homie. you cut off? Well, that's me and Vic. Vic and me. Y'all insist, really. They could tell me stop hanging with Vic. What makes you think they won't tell me stop talking to you? You remember, in seventh grade, some guys were trying to jump me over some girl. Vic was the one to get some friends just to walk me home. And when they came, we went at it, but I wasn't alone. When I got my scholarship, it was Vic who put the word on the streets that nobody should mess with me because I had a future. Vic was protecting me. And so, he did uh, cover know, up that body that you caught. I know Vic is crazy. Before all the hype and the lights, media, Fan. It was just me and Vic. I don't know what to say. It hurts me to say this, but I see his point. What you don't understand is that the league doesn't have your back anymore. Not like they used to. Social media has changed everything. And this last incident with Vic, that was the final straw. It was a joke. It wasn't funny stepping in to protect your honor by attacking another teammate like that? It's uncalled for. And they all know your relationship with Vic, so they think it's coming from you. But that's the media blowing everything out of proportion as usual. It's not just the media. He's attacking other players, other teams. He's out of control. Vic just doesn't know how to behave. We got guys on our squad who don't want to be here because of that beef. There is no place for that kind of inappropriate behavior in this league. If you can't trust your teammates, who can you trust? Man, who is it? Gordon Hayward? I knew that he was going to be our downfall. He's down. And people can see it. I see how all the other players are looking at you. Oh, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. What, don't talk to him? Don't hang with him? You do what you gotta do, that's your call. But let me tell you this. You asked me if I had friends that I couldn't cut off? Yeah, I did for a while. Friends, business partners, girlfriends, wives, family that I thought I couldn't cut off. But I learned that sometimes you gotta make the hard decisions. I mean, some of these people, they were just bad for me. They were bringing me down. They weren't making me better. They were good for the time that they were there. But I grew up, not in age and maturity, but in mind and spirit. I was ready for the next level in my life. And I'll be honest with you. I've been on the receiving end of that. I've been cut off before myself. And yeah, it hurt at the time. But looking back, they were doing the right thing for me. Just don't tell my ex-wife that, Pagnotti. So what's the next move? The next move is Freaks. It always has been. Question is, is he ready and willing to do what needs to be done? This is messed up. You take a moment to think about it, but think long, think wrong. The snafu should have been cleaned up a long time ago. With or without you, we got games to win. Freak, you gotta handle your business. Okay, we've all said our piece. You might cut me off as your manager, but I will always be your sister. It's when this is on you. I might not like it, but I will respect any decision you make. Hold on, Yvette walking in with the all white outfit, hold on. Please. CC, Yvette. Where's Dom? I had him call you. Why? I'm gonna cut right to the chase. My brother is deeply in love with you. And 
I'm ready to put our differences aside if you are. Really? On the stream. I'm, I'm with it. Team Freak. Team Freak. All right, so if you're going to be down with the team, I got to show you the dap. Oh, the dap. Yeah. They cool right. with each other now. You love to see a happy ending. One, two, three. three. Shoot. Shoot. Swish. Swish. Yeah. Again. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Swish. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like that. Cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> she ain't have enough swagger on it, I ain't gonna lie, but I ain't gonna hate. But here we are, final game, game eight of eight. Game 82, Utah Jazz at the Los Angeles Lakers. This team is threatening to get rid of me. I should drop zero and just have 20 turnovers, but you know what? I'm not gonna do that because I'm an athlete and I like to compete. Let's get straight into it. Final game of the season. This is it. The last game of my rookie season. Kinda hard to believe. These 82 games have gone by in a blur. I know we're on the outside looking in when it comes to playoffs, but that doesn't mean I can't go out and give it everything I have one last time. Here goes nothing. Roy Hibbert was on the Lakers? Why don't I remember this? Super young Lakers team. Jordan Clarkson before the tattoos. Nick Young still on the team. I know that we can be this team. Pull up, bang, come on. Who was that ball dude? Struggle Lakers fans, let me know who Sacred is. Ain't no way we losing to the 2016 Lakers. Pass that thing down low, pass it right back. Hey, that's how you run a play. Yeah, thank you. I was about to say, Snitch Russell can't guard me, boy. What? Hold on. Uh, that was definitely supposed to be a step. Hold on. Ooh, I meant to do that. He started freaking and vibing on him. We was up like this against the Spurs last time, and we still lost. So I really don't know if we're going to win or lose this game. It seemed like whenever I get subbed out, we go down by 20. Now, I'm not saying that I'm the best player on the team or anything. I'm the best player on the team, 100%. Everybody else is trash. Look at this. Look at the so like, 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 like. Who else is saucing up like that? Gatorade symbol next to me, but I don't care. I still don't care. Hey. Hey. Ah, no legs broken on that one. Lou Williams on this team, too. Back down. Back down. Back down low. Back down low. I'm taking it. Yeah, you can't guard me, boy. Okay, now I'm going to sit down before he could get another bucket on me. Yes, sir. I was player of the game, 17, 4, and 3. Really like that for real. Ice race, straight out the 70s cut. Back to the story. And no money isn't everything to you, Freak. I find it hard to say this, but I've grown to respect that in you. You're a man of conviction. But it's my responsibility to point out the consequences of that way of thinking. Now, for you, winning is everything. But winning isn't something you could do alone. It requires excellent or at the very least competent coaching, contributing teammates, and God willing good health. We all know that's not a guarantee. You're not in control of any of those other factors. But if you, as the star, fail to win and deliver a championship, you will be villainized and you will be punished accordingly. Now, I'm going to call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm going to get us a private plane for this tour. I promise you, you're going to love the free agency experience. Yes, I get to leave. Vic has unfortunately cost us in some of these negotiations. We had 10 teams interested. We now only have three. Damn. Thankfully, you wised up when it came to Vic. Wait, he cut off Vic? Oh, he didn't cut off Vic. Oh, wow. You're in contact with Vic? Yo, freak, look at me. He still has one of my cars, Dom. What did I tell you about the L word? I told you to break the brakes, man. Loyalty. Uh. I don't know what kind of hold this Vic has over you, but it makes me scared. You need to be an FOF. You need to be a friend of Freak. Let's forget about winning without appropriate compensation and loyalty that hasn't been earned and isn't deserved. This is a tough business, Freak. We need to be tougher. Come on. Cece? Woo, Lord Jesus, I was about to blow a gasket. <sighs> okay, free. Sissy kind of built. God damn. There are very few options on the table, and I want you to explore them all before making your final decision. Whatever you decide, it needs to be an informed decision, not an emotional one. The larger the market, the greater resources at your disposal and exposure for you. But if you don't allocate these resources properly, then it's just a big spotlight on you as you lose. Well, thank you kindly, big sis. She's right, freak. Thanks, Don. Absolutely, team freak. That's what we're about. Oh. Whoa, I don't know if I like this. What? Dom and CC high-fiving like that? I mean, yeah, why you got so certain I'm gonna lose? We just want you to select a franchise that has great coaching, super talent, exposure, but most importantly, a ton of cap space. If the team doesn't win and you're to blame, at least you won't be broke, capiche? Capiche. Also, you should make sure it's somewhere you want to raise a family, but no pressure. Mm. <laughs> well, you guys have made this decision so much easier. What did mom and dad say? You know what they said. 
I mean, but honestly, I'm torn. I've heard and listened to what you've all had to say. Don't take this the wrong way. There's just one person I haven't heard from, and that's Vic. Oh, Lord, help us. Yo, Vic, where you at? I've been trying to call you, man. Hit me back. You know him. He's probably somewhere too loud to hear his phone. I don't know. I think Vic's actually upset with me. This man took the car and stopped answering phone calls. That's kind of crazy. Oh, wait, we get three options? Oh, Lakers, Knicks, Sacramento's a big market just because I live here. Um, I'm not going to be here for that long to see all this, so we're going to go with 295 points. Might as well. All right. Hello. Hey, well, I'd like to thank everyone for coming here today. There go our people. I'd especially like to thank God, my Lord and Savior, my family, my agent, Mr. Don Pagnotti, twin sister and manager, Cece. My lady, thank you guys for all your support. I'd also like to thank all the fans. My free agency has been nothing short of amazing. And frankly, it has been a dream come true. But like most dreams, the reality is very different from what I imagined. Though I wouldn't change a thing about this period and the time I spent in the NBA, I can honestly say that nothing has been more gratifying and more difficult than choosing where to play next year. I sought the wise counsel of my loved ones. There are so many wonderful teams in the league filled with stellar talent and all vying to be number one. For me, there's nothing more important than winning. So it is for this reason, above all, that I have decided to choose the New York Knicks. Yeah! Knicks, we're going back home. Yeah. We back in New York, so insert the uh, Bronx drill music. Give me lit. All right, all right, sir. Congratulations. Oh, wow. 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 Three letters: M A X. Oh, it's Dom Trust, baby. Let me see this contract. Let me see this contract. I gotta call me right back. I gotta call him finally. <laughs> Yo, fool, where you been? I've been trying to call you. Mr. Freak. Yo, who's this? This is Officer Vasquez with the 9th Precinct. Officer Vasquez? What did Vic do now? Mr. Freak, there's been an accident. Look, we're gonna need you to come down to the following address as soon as possible. What kind of accident? Put Vic on the phone. I can't do that, sir. No, 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 you're not hearing me. I want to talk to Vic. Look, sir, we need you to calm down as soon as you can. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey listen, listen, on? listen, listen, listen. Put Let's... down the phone, and I don't want to hear it get picked up until Victor Van Leer is on the phone. the phone. Put Vic on the phone. Mr. Freak, Mr. Van Leer was killed in a car accident. What's going on? Give me the phone. The car he no. was driving was registered to you. We were able no. to identify him from the listen flyers. Listen to me. Session. Freak, give I don't want to talk to you no more. Freak, give me the I don't want to talk to you no more. Freak, nah, this is a sad moment. Yes. Why am I laughing? This is Cece. This is Freak's manager. Who am I speaking with? Hi, hey, yes, look, we're going to need somebody to come down and identify Mr. Van Leer. Uh, eyewitnesses say that he was involved in a car chase. Two cars were chasing him, and as the chase escalated, he eventually lost control and crashed. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry for your loss. Hello. Outside of the deceased, was anybody else injured? Damn. What? Yeah, they said he was in a car chase. No. Freak, I'm sorry. <laughs> He died. Oh, Damn. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Frank. Yvette, you should have gave him some when he wanted some, man. <laughs> All right, Peter Vick. All right, Peter Vick. <laughs> Very sad moment, man. All right, Peter Vick. This all started here. Yep, right here in the dome. Yeah, you know, it was all about living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing it'd be some nightmares. As Daddy always says, all that glitters ain't gold. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my brother Vic, though. Deep down, he was a good person at heart, but he was never quite right. Something was always off with him, yeah. even when we were little growing up. Yeah, I know, I know, but I love him anyway. I knew he was trying to take advantage of our friendship, but I didn't care. We were boys, ride or die. You know that? Ride or die. Just hope Vic finally found peace and death that he never found in life. 
Well, may he rest in power. <laughs> when you really sit down and think about it, life is about the length of, blink of an eye. And that's for so sure quick. We spend a third sleeping in bed, a third trying to figure this thing called life out. <laughs> Yo, by the time we think you got it all figured out, you only got a third of your life left. Yeah, life's a trip. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> life's a trip. <sighs> ten times ten. Well, honey. <laughs> Hey, yo, shout out to my man, Vic. <laughs> shout out to Vic. <laughs> Come on, let's bounce. All right. Yo, I'm about to wake up the project like I used you to. Better remember? not. <laughs> you better not. We ain't kids no more. CC? CC. Hey! Why are you sneaking up on us? Hey, we thought you two left town yesterday oh, after the funeral. <laughs> we decided to stay one more day. Oh, I'm so glad you did. I wish we had known you were coming. We would have made you something to eat. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> what y'all doing? Yeah, chatting. Yeah, talking about yesterday's service. Oh, okay. How you holding up, son? You know what? I'm okay, pops. But you know what? We love you two so much. And it's only now that I'm realizing how much you two sacrificed for Cece and myself. Hey, cause you know Vic didn't really get to know his father growing up. And we were lucky to grow up in a household with two loving parents. Uh, and you know what's sad to say? That people thought we had a highly unusual home in a project. Yeah, folks always talk about the negative effects of boys with no father in a home, but it affects girls too. And it's helped me in my relationships with men in my life. What men? Anywho, I know that all men are not dogs because I had a great father in the home. You, Daddy. I was there, too. He didn't do it alone now. <laughs> yes, Mama, of course. <laughs> that goes without saying. Thank you, daughter. I did what my father did, and his father, and his father before that. A man, a real man, will always be involved in his children's lives. I love your mother. We had our ups and downs but I love her more than life itself. You two are a direct result of that true love. Yeah, we know that. Switching subjects. Yeah. I know the both of you like I know the back of my hand. You said you were leaving after the service. Why are you here out of the blue? Yeah, what's up? Why gotta be all that? Yeah, we can't stop by and show our love and appreciation for right. our loving parents. I'm highly offended. I am appalled. Uh, what's happening? Yeah, come clean. <sighs> okay, okay. Me and Cece just want to give you a little present. Yeah, a small token, a small repayment for everything you've done for yeah, us. Yeah, all the sacrifices you've made. And we want nothing in return but your love mm -hmm. and grandchildren. Uh, but get married first. <laughs> yeah, save your money. But, Daddy, we really just But, Daddy, nothing. You heard your father. Well, maybe, maybe one, one day. day. <laughs> maybe. But one day is not today. Nope. <laughs> OK. Well, for real, for real, we do have an actual flight to catch tonight. For real this time? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. for real this time. Well, it's so, good to see you again. Uh, love you, yes. love you hey, too. I'll call us when you get there, OK? Well, we will. As soon as you yeah, land. We'll we'll OK, Mama. All right. Yeah, you all okay, call us as soon as you get back. All right, as soon as you land. All right, yes, promise, brother. promise. Take care of your brother. Of course, always. I got this. Don't trust. <laughs> wow. Hey, did you forget something? Uh, No, can you do me a favor and head to the sofa? The sofa? Well, what's at the sofa? Just look behind the cushion. Behind the cushion? Uh, Pete, come here. What do they want now? What's in the envelope? Just look inside, Mama. Pete, you open it. Hey, Frequency, what's this? Does it look like it opens doors? Keys to a house? Uh-huh. A new home? Uh-huh. Son, now I didn't told you and your sister a million times. Me and your mother mm -hmm. are very comfortable yes, right where we are. Yes, he's absolutely right. This is yeah. Harlem, USA. Project or no project, this is our apartment. This is the home we made for you to raise you up right in. We're not moving like everybody mm -hmm. else. Let me talk Tell to him. Tell him something. Frequency, we both appreciate it very much. I mean, we, we're very grateful. Uh, okay, okay can, look, there's something else in the envelope. Pete, he says look inside the envelope. What? Well, look inside. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Montego Bay, Jamaica. <gasps> Baby, pack your bags. We are living the dream. <laughs> oh. Thank y'all. Love you. All right. Love you guys. Love you. They're a freak. <laughs> By the time you read this letter, I'll be long gone. I wrote this letter because it's the only way I think my voice will ever be heard. In the back not touched up in the afterlife? It's the only way I'll ever get any of you to stop Listen, you really get to know me, Victor Van Leer. 
My childhood was turbulent. But even in the most unsettling times, there was a break in the tide. My father was the rocky water, and my mom's was the gentle surf. Pops did a lot of foolish stuff, but when he wasn't trashed and was actually taking the time to be a father, he'd say, Vic, you got one life, a fragile life. God can take this life whenever he sees fit. So live and live plentifully. Each day God gives, live it in abundance. My pops was a smart dude, the most dangerous kind, educated and street smart. And this apple didn't fall too far from the tree. My mom's, yo, she was an angel. No matter how heavy the hand, she would do anything for me. And by chance, when I was casted into that darkness, she was the voice I followed back to the light. I was so young, too young. But my decaying flesh carries the scars and memories that won't fade. She's the reason I'm as loving as I was. She taught me to look at others as human beings and not objects. Now, where there's pain, a simple kiss, hug, where I love you could disperse that rainy day. That's why I'll, that's why I'll never understand why. Bro, shut oh, your bitch ass up! The only one good thing I ever had in my life. And that was my mother. You ever feel lonely? Well, I didn't have any siblings. And no one would claim me as their own. It is the first time in my life I even... I question the point of living at all. If it wasn't for your family taking me in, I swear I was going to open my wrist or jump in front of the A train. But I found love. I found it through my new family. Mr. P, man, he was the complete opposite of who my dad was. He was foreign to me. He was a good, honorable man, and to be honest, he intimidated me. I didn't believe I could ever be the man he tried teaching me to be. Miss Martha, damn. <laughs> Real talk. I was in love with that woman. Freak, if you're reading this right now, I'm sorry. I never met one hottie that came close to her. Mr. Peter's a lucky dude. But unlike my dad, he could recognize the angel in his presence. Aside from my own mom, she's the only other person I truly think understood me. I just wanted to be loved, yo. I just wanted to belong. CC, man, I've seen her make the hardest dudes break at the wrist. I've seen her turn coal into diamonds and then back into coal again, just by doing this intense stare she do. CC is no joke. I love her, though. We used to be close. And again, I'm sorry, freak, but when your sister get all mad and on one, damn, I just... What the <laughs> CC. I love you more than you will ever know. I hope in my time past, you can finally forgive me. Yvette is beautiful. A woman about success, work ethic, and never settling for less. Which, that's why I didn't stand a chance. There was no reason for him to add that in there. And me, a big, fat zero. She was cool, though. Chill. And wish she wasn't being all uptight, that girl was mad funny. I could see why you fell in love with her. She could make any man better. You look, you wildin', gang. She was exactly what I wanted. And definitely what you needed. Whoa, why did he just... Frequency vibrations. My boy. My blood. I'm sorry I couldn't be as great as you. 
I'm sorry I was your weight and not your pedestal. I wanted to be a lot of things. I thought I was the next prodigy. Then you hit that court, and I knew. It was it. It was you, freak. It was you. I didn't have much of a life. This is kind of going on for too long. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to be you. All I wanted was a taste of everything I never had. Can you blame me? I know it hurts. But you know, wrap it up. Wow, the music is on now. There's nothing holding you down anymore, freak. Bro, wrap it up. I believe in you. And I always look out for you from above. Okay, yep, look out for him from above. Woo, all right, now walk off or fly into the sky. The shuttles work. I love you, freak. At the end... Oh my gosh, there's two lines. I had no place here anymore. Are no you about to cry line. again? Maybe. Maybe my greatness is in the heaven. Or maybe. Just maybe. My greatness is you, freak. I just hope you and the fam remember me as I remember my mom. Look at people like human beings, not objects. Because if you wait, it's often too late. So just say you love them now, man. Be the voice they can follow out of darkness. Be to them what my mother was to me, an angel. That was a great speech. Resting in power. Dr. Van Lee. Vic. That's greatness right there, man. All right, Peter Vic, the greatest villain in NBA 2K history. I don't want to hear about Jackson Ellis. Vic Van Leer was really putting in that villainy work. It was me. Hey, man, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and new comment down below what y'all want to see next. This was a great story, man. Great story all around. Y'all said that it's the best my career story. I'm glad that y'all got that right. Not gonna lie. Vic had a beard in real life. It started off great. You know, everything was going good in high school. Got to college. Everything's still going good. Then once we got to the NBA, it just all started going downhill. The manager talking about Vic. Then the family having group meetings about Vic. Then it's looking like Yvette is a gold digger. Then CC is getting yelled at by freak. Everything just started going bad, and then Vic died, and now everybody's happy again, just like Martha. So, um, yeah, you know, great story. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm out this thing. Peace.